Last July, police received a complaint that a coach working at the two-time Olympic fencing medalist Nam Hyun-i's academy had sexually abused two underage students for months. Suspicions of sexual abuse by the coach first surfaced last December, but the academy did not take any action at the time. Meanwhile, the coach's disgusting misconduct continued. The coach took his own life in early July after allegations of sexual violence were made public within the academy. Following his death, the police closed the case. When the victims first spoke up, the academy seemingly didn't report this to the Sports Ethics Center. The organization stated that they have not received any reports regarding sexual violence from NAM or the Fencing Academy. This can mean she did not report the issue on time. According to the National Sports Promotion Act, people managing athletes should immediately report to the Sports Ethics Center or related investigative authorities if they are aware of suspicions of corruption or violations of human rights in athletics. On October 10th, this complaint was reported to the Sports Ethics Center. The investigation is ongoing by the organization after there were additional reports that Nam didn't take sufficient measures even though she was already aware of the problem. Meanwhile, Nam recently became the center of controversy after she revealed in an interview with woman Joseon that she was about to marry her fiancé, Chun chong Joo, who was revealed to be a female and a swindler. Chun is also believed to have been involved in the running of the fencing academy. In the interview with woman Joseon, Chun also said, I saw her often because I work with her at the fencing academy. To this, Nam claimed, while I teach people fencing, Chun runs a business that deals with psychological education necessary for children.